Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher, and we're into February. Today is Groundhog Day, and so I am going to do a tangle on the second. And my, I have positive thoughts that I put in, in my, I have to have something every day, something to think about. and. So you can download these for free. There's a sheet and then there's bigger ones if you want. It's on my website. And today I chose, don't tell me the sky's the limit when there's footprints on the moon. And sometimes you just have to think positive. Well, actually all the time you need to think positive. And so that's my thing for today. And we're going to do squill. Um, when I first started teaching Zentangle, this was one somebody really loved the looks of it. And so I'm going to do it right here in number spot number two. Oh, and I'm using an, a Micron 01. And I put a little O-ring on here that reminds me to stay back so you can see the tip of my pen. So I'm just going to do two lines, kind of like a stem going down. And you could could um, fill up your entire space, but I want to leave some on the end because I'm going to do something a little different with squill. Then I'm going to come back so it crosses. And of course I'm using the Hollyba effect so that it we draw under we're going to come um, and go this direction and then again this direction and then I'm going to come and I'm going to start with my first, where I first did and I'm going to draw a line so they come down like this. Starting right at that tip and coming down. And then you can aura on the inside. And then I'm going to skip over to this one. And then I'm going to add here and here, which is not done on the original um, squill. I wanted it to have more of an organic look. And I think I achieved that with it. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to color in to give some drama. I really should pick my um, graphic graphic pen. I'm going to change over from the O1 to a little thicker one because it goes just a tad faster. And I like to rotate my book so that I can, um, you know, just draw wherever. Let me rotate it back around. Now I'm going to add some um, 
is Springer and I've done a little step out for Springer for me and um, let me pull it back oops sorry so you can see the step outs and you can find this on Zentangle.com but I'm going to take that particular tangle and I'm going to come from from the tips You know, you can, um, and this one can come in. I'm just going to fill in. The background so you can just give yourself, you know, freedom to just do whatever. You can see how that is just, I don't know. I, I just love the what you can do with different tangles and, and um, make them your own. You can see that the, this is just, it's kind of gone wild. And I've just gone, so you can, I'm going to stop right here and get my um, pencil out so I can do a little shading. And I'm just going to put some shading in here to show you what I might do. Because I, no matter what, I'm going to shade. I... I think it's important to give your, your tangles that depth. I have to see what tomorrow brings with filling in on um, on the other two days, but I I had fun with Squill and it's just even though my my hands are a little shaky today, it's a great tangle to um, just play with. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks again for watching and um, and subscribing to my channel. And um, have a great day. I just thought I'd show you what I did on February 1st. Um, since I hadn't done it, I did February 2nd first. I went ahead and did um, February 1st and just kind of mimicked what I did on the 2nd. So, and added some green using a green, oops, using a green micron. I'm so sorry. I can't control that camera. Using a green micron, um, 05 and filling that in and it's just kind of fun so you can just have some relaxing time with Zentangle and um, you know you can footprints on the moon so 